In this video, I'll be going over eight tips to avoid writing a boring script or book. So let's jump into number one. Tip number one is don't write passive characters. Think of the journey like a car ride. Would you want someone plain or ordinary, or would you rather have someone that is funny, interesting, and complex? Passive characters will destroy a story. Just think of all those movies where they are all character-driven. This shows the importance of having a well-developed character. Tip number two, don't write a thin plot. Thin plot will put a hold on your writing process. You'll start writing all over the place and even repeat yourself. If you have to ask yourself, if your script or book has a thin plot, then it probably does. But don't fear, I have some tips for fixing it. Try to add some more plot points, bring your characters more misfortune, and further their journey towards their goal. Tip number three, avoid making it obvious. Do puzzles come already solved? No. Characters often talk too much about how they feel and too much about the plot. They give everything away to the audience. That's not fun. Ambiguity is an excellent tool to use for this. So sometimes you should not show or tell the audience how to feel. Let them figure it out on their own. Tip number four, add lots of conflict. People love drama. They're addicted to it. And we always will be. Some films and books are solely driven by the writer's ability to write conflict. Every scene can have conflict in it. It can be as small as two characters with strongly opposed opinions. If you're getting great content and great information, please hit that like and subscribe button so I can continue giving you these tips and tricks to writing a successful story, whether it's a screenplay or a book. Now let's jump right back into the video, guys. Tip number five, write unrelated subplots. Subplots should be looked at as branches from your main story for your main plot, but not as a separate entity. Anything unrelated just detracts from your main story. But subplots are great for enhancing your main plot if you use them wisely. Tip number six, add a hook or a plot twist. Audiences and readers are guessers. They want to guess what's going to happen next because it makes us feel like we're smart. Writing is like chess. You want to be two steps ahead of the audience or the reader. You want to mislead them and add exciting plot twists or a hook that flips the dynamic of the story, catching them off guard to provide them real value. But try to prevent any confusion to the audience or the reader. Tip number seven, subvert the audience's or reader's expectations. This isn't a hook or a plot twist. This is a writing tool that you use to get the audience or the reader on the edge of their seat or make them feel shocked. Maybe have a typical nerd, but to the reader of the audience's surprise, he's a real smooth talker and ladies man. You almost wanna trick them by making them surprised, horrified, or joyful. And the last tip, tip number eight, make your characters different. I know we talked about it earlier, but you want to make each character different. Make them interesting, make them complex, and give them an engaging will. Give them anything that does not make them normal. Have them dumb, smart, funny, or strange. Remember that your reader or the audience is trying to escape reality. Now, I know that was a lot of information I just went over, so feel free to go back and rewatch the video for whatever you missed or whatever was too fast. For this video, I want to thank Screenwriters Network on Instagram. I follow them and a lot of other writing authors or screenwriting processes, same with film festivals. And for this video, they gave me a lot of inspiration that I wanted to share because it's very important that people know how to write a successful story. Especially when I'm a creative writing major, I want to make sure I hit every point, whether it's characters, plot, special tools like flashbacks and how to do log lines and stuff like that. So thank you for watching. Here's a video on story plot arc. It's a playlist, so if you need to go over how to make a successful one, feel free to. And in this video here, you can click and see how to do um, a special or a well-developed character. Thanks for watching, guys. I can't wait to see you in my next video.